Where does poop go after flushing down the toilet? Hey everyone! Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're exploring a question that might have crossed your mind at some point. Where does poop go after you flush it down the toilet? We're going to follow the journey of waste from your home all the way to the treatment plant. So, let's dive right in. Initial Journey When you flush your toilet, the waste and water are carried through your home's plumbing system. This system of pipes leads to either a public sewer system or a private septic tank. If your home is connected to a sewer system, the waste travels through underground pipes to a wastewater treatment plant. But if you have a septic system, the waste goes to an underground tank on your property. Wastewater Treatment Plant Let's start with what happens in a public sewer system. The wastewater treatment process begins when the waste arrives at the treatment plant. Here, it goes through several stages to remove contaminants and purify the water. First, the wastewater passes through screens that filter out large debris like sticks, leaves, and trash. This is called the screening process. Primary treatment. Next, the wastewater enters large sedimentation tanks where heavier solids settle to the bottom, forming sludge. This stage is known as primary treatment. The sludge is then removed and treated separately, while the remaining water moves on to the next stage. Secondary treatment. During secondary treatment, the wastewater goes into aeration tanks where it's mixed with air and bacteria. The bacteria break down organic matter, further cleaning the water. This biological treatment is essential for reducing harmful substances and preparing the water for the final stages. Tertiary treatment and disinfection. In the tertiary treatment stage, the water undergoes additional filtering to remove any remaining impurities. It might also be treated with chemicals to neutralize pollutants. Finally, the water is disinfected, often with chlorine or UV light, to kill any remaining bacteria and viruses. Discharge and sludge treatment. Once fully treated, the clean water is released into local rivers, lakes, or the ocean, where it can safely re-enter the water cycle. But what about the sludge? It's further treated through processes like anaerobic digestion, which breaks down the organic material and reduces volume. The resulting biosolids can be used as fertilizer or disposed of safely. Septic Systems If you have a septic system, the waste goes into an underground tank where solids settle to the bottom, and liquids flow into a drain field. Bacteria in the tank help break down the solids, and the liquid is naturally filtered through the soil. Regular maintenance is crucial for septic systems to prevent backups and ensure proper functioning. Conclusion So, there you have it. The journey of poop from your toilet to the treatment plant or septic system is a complex but fascinating process that ensures our waste is managed safely and efficiently. Thanks for watching. If you found this video informative, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more interesting content. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you next time. Poop Fact And here's a fun poop fact to leave you with. Did you know that the bacteria involved in the wastewater treatment process are similar to the bacteria found in our own digestive system? These hard-working microbes help break down waste, making them essential to both nature and our plumbing systems.